a sport for boys? Mm -mm. Not according to one Texas 10-year-old, Ariel Weather has the story of the girl on the gridiron and the other top talkers across America. At number one, you're watching cell phone video of Peyton Watson's aggressive tackle. I like football so much. She's the first girl to join a youth football league in Katy, Texas. I play um, wide receiver, cornerback, and safety. Her parents weren't big fans of the idea. She's begged us for years to let her play and we've always told her no. But it was her dream, so after a family huddle, they finally agreed. Peyton plans to play at the next level, her junior high team. At number two, Hog Futures. Harley Davidson unveiled its newest line of motorcycles. They're bigger than ever. This thing is unbelievable. They're also better for you ergonomically. They're big, they're comfortable. My wife has plenty of room. There's always customers out there who want the biggest and baddest, and that's exactly what these, these bikes bring. The 2016 bikes will ship to dealers by the end of the week. And as for the price, some start at less than $7,000. And at number three, Thrillist.com ranked the best cities for coffee in America. This is a magical place where coffee comes to life. And while it's no surprise that Seattle took the number one spot, you might be surprised to hear Kansas City made the list. We've been at the forefront of quality, particularly in this part of the country, uh, for quite some time now. KC helped wake up the world to coffee back in the 90s. Other cities rocking a bold brew, Austin, Texas, Chicago, New York City, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Portland, Oregon.